everyone, Tori here with today's um, Scrap Your Scraps video. Um, each Sunday I join you and I make a layout using my scraps. Um, and this is my scrap bin, it's like a cookie tin that I stole after the cookies were empty. And I just fill it with all of my scraps. And each Sunday I try to use scraps from here to make a layout. So last week, Scrap Your Scraps video, um, I used this two inch square punch and I had a lot of fun um, making that layout. So I wanted to use a square punch again for this week's layout because I just found it fun. Um, so just uh, in case you're wondering, this square punch comes from Recollections, which is a Michaels brand. And I'm just using a whole bunch of scraps, so I can't really tell you where these papers come from because they're all just bits and pieces. Um, but I'm going to use this square punch um, to make my layout today. Now if you're wondering um, more and you want to see more of my Scrap Your Scraps video, I'll leave a link for the playlist down below and you can watch and play along. And if you play along, I would love to see your layouts. Um, you can either leave a link for leave a link below or tag me on Facebook or Instagram and you can use the hashtag scrub your scraps and I will find you or I'll try. And I can't wait to see what you guys create too. So again I'm using a two inch square punch and my scraps. Now before the video I actually punched out a bunch of scrap squares. Um, plus I had some left over from last week, so I just grabbed those. And so for today's layout, I decided to use this yellow paper from Jilly Bean Soup. And it's called Summer Red Raspberry Soup Coordinating Paper. So it has this floral on the back, and then it has this really pretty like yellow stripe distress on the other side. Now Originally when I had purchased this paper, I had purchased it for the floral because I loved it so much. Um, and I do have another copy of this so I'm not that worried that I'm using it up. But I really wanted to use this side because it goes perfectly with the photo that I'm going to be scrapbooking today. And the reason that I've called this video um, Scrap Your Scraps hashtag biggest fan ever is because I'm making a layout for one of my biggest fans today um, and I wanted to say hi I bet she'll watch this movie or this video um, there is a little girl who watches my videos with her mom and her name is Lily and she's my biggest fan and I'm her biggest fan and so I wanted to make a page just for Lily today and I'm going to use my scraps and this beautiful yellow paper and this adorable photo of her. Don't worry, I got permission to show this. Um, I think this was on the first day of school this year and she just looks so adorable. And so I really wanted to use this photo and my scraps for today's layout and this adorable photo of Lily. So Lily, if you're watching, hi. Thanks for being my biggest fan and for watching my videos with your mom, who's an amazing lady too. And I, I really hope you like the way that this page works out. So normally when I do my Scrap Your Scraps videos, I start with the scraps and I lay those all out and then I put the picture and titles and other embellishments on. But I have a very special title that I wanted to use for this layout and I want to put it like right on here first and then put the photo on and work the scraps around that. So I have an idea, so hopefully it works. And the the title that I want to use today is one of my favorite quotes. It comes from the amazing book called The Help, and if you haven't read that book, you should definitely read that. The quote is um, really powerful, and while it's not grammatically correct, and normally as an English teacher that would bother me, it's really sweet. So the quote um, says, you is kind, you is smart, you is important. And um, the nanny in the help, or I don't know what they call her, the maid, I guess, says that to one of the babies, and it just really touched my heart. And so I think that that's the message I wanted Lily to hear today. Lily, you are kind, you are smart, and you are important. And I want to put that right here on the layout um, so that you'll remember. So for my title, I grabbed out these stickers. And they are this, I actually have two sets of them. So they came together. So on this side, there's light blue. And on this side, there's like a green color. And while I'm not a huge green fan, I think it'll look pretty because this layout's going to be super colorful. 
and I really love the blue and the yellow together. I just think it looks pretty and I also thought it looked really cute with her outfit. The problem is that I don't have enough letters on this side, I think, for the whole title. So I think I'm going to have to alternate. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the title on the bottom and then the photo is going to go on the front. And unfortunately, these stickers are not available anymore. They came in a scrapbooking kit from like probably a year ago. Um, you might be able to find them online or something similar. But I'm going to use them for my title. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just put my title on a ruler. And I have this large 12 by 12 ruler. That way I can put it on the ruler, get it centered, and then put it down. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each of those lines, like you is kind, you is smart, you is important, on a different row. So now that I have the title, you is important, which is the last line of the quote, I want to center it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my page up on my glass mat here so that I can find the center. And basically I know where the center is here. Um, so it's about 30 inches or just over. So this, the center of the page is here. And I want to get it centered. So I'm just going to line it up. And it's not about being perfect for me. I don't really care about that. But I just want to get it semi-centered. And then you just push down the top of the letters so you get them where you want them and then just peel back the ruler and stick the rest down. Now the one thing I did forget is I wanted to add I think an exclamation mark on this so I should have moved it slightly over but you know it doesn't have to be perfect. You know the truth is that nothing in life is perfect except for God so it's all good. So you is important and then I'm gonna do the next line above that which is you is smart and I'm gonna put it in this green green foam thicker and I'm gonna line it up on the ruler again and stick that down and then I'll do the line above that which is you is kind okay so there I have my title down it says you is kind you is smart you is important and I added some quotation marks on either side of that just so that it looks like a quote and I really wanted to use this quote because not only do I love it, but I also wanted Lily to know that um, she is those things. So I have the photo of Lily, and I actually really love that the U is kind is just wide enough for it to almost sit on. Like it looks like it's sitting on a shelf almost. And I like how it goes out like this. So what I want to do is I want to adhere this photo down, and I'm going to use some double-sided score tape. And I believe this just comes from Copic. I like their double-sided score tape. And I just like to use it for photos because it sticks them down well. And it's fairly easy to remove, especially since I have fingernails. And I'm just going to rest this photo of Lily right on top of the quote. So now on to using my scraps, which I know is your favorite part, and probably mine too. I have all of these squares of scraps that I cut out in all different colors, and I wasn't really trying to be particular about the colors. I wanted this layout to be really bright and colorful and happy, because that's totally who Lily is and everything. So what I'm going to do actually with these scraps is I'm going to make some pinwheels, which is super fun. Um, and they're super easy to make too. So basically you just take a square and you cut in from each of the corners towards the middle. Now you don't cut all the way to the middle. If you cut all the way to the middle, it'll cut apart. But you wanna cut most of the way, leaving just a fraction in the middle. So I'll hold this up so you guys can see. You can see I cut to the middle, but I left a little bit there, okay? So I have my pinwheel there, and I'm going to use buttons for this because I love buttons. And what you want to do is you want to fold each edge of the triangle in towards the middle. And you just go around and you want to keep the same edge. So I like to use the um, right hand edge, 
and just sort of fold it in. Now you can keep it more dimensional if you want to. I am folding it flat because I want it to be flat. And then I'm just going to grab a button that I think will look cute and I'm going to glue it in the middle of my pinwheel here. So just put a dollop of hot glue and add my button. And there you go, you have a super cute little pinwheel which will look perfect on this layout of Lily and this quote. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a ton more pinwheels because they're super fun to make. And I'm gonna use up a bunch of different colors of buttons too um, so that it looks really bright and colorful. And they're really easy to make again so don't worry about that. And I think the best papers to use are the ones that are double-sided because when you make the pinwheel, um, the other side will also show. Now, I didn't think about that when I was punching out my squares, so not all of my squares are double-sided. Um, so some of them are white on the other side. But that might be an interesting um, design choice too if you went with all one color and all of your squares were all the same color and then all of them were white on the other side. That might look nice too. And so then I'm just gonna grab different colored buttons and I think what I'm gonna do is try to keep the buttons in the same color tone as what's going on on the um, pinwheel just to minimize how colorful it is. Like I'll use pink ones on pink, orange on orange. And there you go. It's that easy to make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch more and I'll be back in a few minutes to show you what I made. Okay, so I made a whole bunch of these really cute little pinwheels. They're so tiny because they're only 2 inch by 2 inch squares and I think they're going to look perfect on this layout of Lily. So I just used a whole bunch of scraps and a whole bunch of buttons to make this and I can't wait to put them on here and figure out where they're gonna go so I haven't really figured out where I want to put them yet but I'm thinking sort of like around the photo at the top maybe instead of like all over like I could put them all over the layout which looks cute but it actually sort of is a little busy so I'm thinking I will just put them around the layout, like at the top area. And I might have made more than I actually need, but that's okay. That's cute, like right there. Or I could line them up against the sides. Sort of like a frame. I realized over time that scrapbooking is a lot about like trial and error. I need one more in here. Actually, I really like that too. I think it's nice. So I think I'm going to leave them along the sides like this and I'm just going to glue them down. Make sure I have the same amount. And I do. And I like where they are so I'm going to just glue these um, down the edges sort of like strips almost. And I'm just going to use my hot glue gun, put a dollop of glue on the back, and stick it down. And you could make them so they're all facing the same way. I don't want to do that. I want them to all be going like different ways. A little free-flowing. Okay, there we go. So I have a couple extra ones here, which I could put on here if I wanted to, but I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Um... Now, I feel like it needs just something else. I have this really cute washi tape, which I really like. Which I think could be cute. Okay, 
think I want to use a piece of this. Not everywhere. Just add a piece on top and below the photo just to make it look like it's sort of sticking it down covers up her really awesome shoes but you can still see them a little bit and then what I'm gonna do to finish off the page is I'm just gonna go grab a pen make sure it's the right size and I'm gonna write a little note to Lily um, I think just around the edges of her photo here okay there we go so I added um, just a little note to Lily and I just added it around the edges of the photo I'm not gonna read it off because that's a note for me to know and for Lily to know and I just wanted to do something special for her and then I think to finish it off I'm just gonna add a little squiggly line around the edges of this layout and then to finish off the edges because I felt like it needed something to contain it I added like a sketchy line all the way around the edges of the layout you can sort of see it there and there we go there's the layout now I think to finish it off I just want to add a little bit more embellishment and I have these foam hearts that came on the thicker set and I think it would be cute to just add a little of them right on the photo either side of her. I think that looks cute. I also have the green ones. So I think I'm going to add a green heart in there too just to tie that green up. And got three there. Might as well add three here. There we go. And I think the page is done. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this fairly quick um, Scrap Your Scraps layout today. I hope that you learned something new, a new way that you can use your scraps, like making these adorable pinwheels. I think that you could cover the whole entire page with these pinwheels if you wanted, or you could just put it on the edges like I did here. Whatever you did with them, I think it would look amazing because the pinwheels are just so cute. Lily, I hope that you really enjoyed today's page, that you enjoyed um, watching and seeing a page all about yourself. And I hope you really like it because it's actually a present for you. I'm going to give it to your mom so you can hang it in your room or hang it somewhere that you like. And I hope that you know how much I love you and how much I appreciate you and how I'm so thankful that you and your mom are my number one fans. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll check back next week for another Scribe Your Scraps video where I show you a new way to use your pile of scraps and make a really awesome lay layout. Bye, guys.